Good morning, everybody. Um, this is an impromptu video on how I make my birdie mash. Um, <laughs> the other birds weren't being cooperative, so um, I have Bunsen walking around here. You can't see her at the moment. But anyway, um, yeah, I was making more food for the birds this morning, and I thought, hey, I should make a video about this. So obviously, I've already made our mash. Um, I actually make the birds a number of varieties and I like to freeze it when I'm done. Um, as you can see, I have an ice cube tray here and generally what I do when I'm done is I put the, uh, <laughs> the mash in the uh, ice cube trays and I freeze it and then if you can bear with me a moment, when it's frozen I pop them out and I put them in baggies and things and it looks like this. So they're nice individual portions. Um, little Bunsen, she doesn't generally eat a whole ice cube, but Marcus the African Grey, he, that's a good portion for him. But anyway, um, <laughs> yes Bunsen, you found the mash. Um, so what I generally put in the mash, grains, beans, vegetables, fruits, um, I have started supplementing the birds um, diets with various things. I put a different supplement in the mashes and so they get one of them a day, maybe five days a week, and then I don't give them um, mash with anything special in it on the on the weekends. Um, but um, like right, <laughs> excuse me, like right now, um, this particular mash that I just made this morning, um, I put some palm oil in it, and I know it's high in fat, so they only, like I said, they only get that during the weekdays and for maybe one meal. Um, but anyway, this particular mash has barley, um, cooked of course, brown rice, um, black beans, carrots, apples, broccoli, um, let me think, sweet pepper, um, there's some couscous. When I made the couscous, I mixed some of the palm oil into the couscous and I just mixed the couscous into the rest of the, the mash. Um, I think there's some arugula for some greens, um, generally whatever I have on hand. And then the birds get the mash, whatever happens to be in the mash. Sometimes I'll use garbanzo beans, uh, I'll put lentils in. Um, some of the foods um, are naturally higher in iron, so I try not to put too much of them in any one batch, um, just because I, I, I don't want to overdose them accidentally. But um, anyway, so in this particular batch, like I said, there's the, uh, the palm oil as, <laughs> as a supplement. Um, Lately, I've also been using some Paw Darko um, in the form of um, the AVPOW brand. It's an antifungal and an antibacterial, so um, I figured um, with Kiwi uh, recently being out of quarantine, that was probably good for everybody. But also, um, I've been starting to use the Avian Trio, which is a supplement of bee pollen, bee propolis, and royal jelly. That's um, very good for all matter of... Um, at least the, the parrots, um, maybe, um, I guess like finches and canaries too can have it, but um, it helps build their immune systems up. So I've just been trying to um, make sure that there aren't any um, missing pieces in their diet. So of course they don't just eat the mash, they have pellets too. And, um, oh, and I forgot I put little alphabet noodles in, in this batch too, but again, uh, they the noodles have some iron in it, so I didn't put too much. But anyway, um, yeah, so they get birdie mash, they get birdie cookies, they get fruits and vegetables, they get pellets, they get some seed, lots of different things. So anyway, um, I just thought I'd make a little video this morning and let you guys all see another aspect of their diet and everything. And I hope this was helpful on some level. And I hope you guys just have a great day. Bye-bye.